if beta is equal to 90 degrees, i.e. the axis of polaroid B is perpendicular to that of A, no radiation will emerge from the system. The very funny thing is that when we put a third polaroid C between A and B and orient it, its axis of transmission along any direction gamma, with gamma included between 0 and 90 degrees with respect to A, light incredibly reappears at the output of these three Polaroid system, in spite of the fact that no light emerged in advance. The insertion of Polaroid C allows the electric field adjust its plane of oscillation in order to gradually adapt itself to the various subsequent polarization axes. By applying Malus law, we find that the emerging radiation has its maximum intensity when gamma is equal to 90 degrees. In such a case, the emerging intensity is IC equal to 1 half times 1 half times 1 half I0, that is 1 eighth I0. In general, imagine having three polaroids A, B, C and a non-polarized incoming wave. The outcoming radiation has an intensity given by IC equal to 1 half I0 times cosine square B times cosine square gamma. This is beta, not B. So cosine square beta times cosine square gamma, where beta and gamma are the angles between the axis of transmission of A and B and of B and C respectively. For instance, if beta equal to 45 degrees and gamma equal to 30 degrees, we have IC equal to 1 half I0 times 1 half times 3 fourth, that is 3 on 16 times I0.